yard so overgrown. One Detroit woman says she feels like she's living right next to uh, Jurassic Park. Her neighbor, the Detroit Land Bank. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith has been working on her problem all day long. And tonight, we are getting results. It's very discouraging. This woman doesn't want to show her face on TV, but she wants the world to know about the mess she's living next to. I've called every place. I can't get any help. And I've been doing that same thing, calling the same numbers over and over. Busted out windows, nothing boarded up. She's heard people inside, but after a stroke and the death of her grandson, her dog and that bark is the only thing making her feel safe. Sometimes that brings tears to her eyes. It's not affecting anybody like it affects me because they don't have to live next door to it. They don't have to go in the backyard and be afraid in the morning. And if that wasn't bad enough, take a look at this overgrown mess. We've got an aerial view that'll show you just how bad it truly is. Doesn't even look like a yard. When we came out here, mice actually scattered from that yard. And get this, the homeowner says a dog that was living here, bitter, took part of her finger right off. He came from under the grass. It took it right off, took it right off, right there at the line. I went up to Ford Hospital, they sold it back on, gave me antibiotics. I came back home. The neighborhood doesn't all look like this. Homes once owned by the land bank have been bought and fixed up. These ones are on the demo list and they have been for years. So after years of calling, waiting and people saying they'd help, all well, the land bank is now reacting to us, publicly promising to get to work. In the next few days, that's our objective, to come and take care of it. This home is also um, part of our demo. It's in the pipeline for demo. And, and with that, that means it will come down. In fact, I'm told this property is in an expanding area where federal dollars can now be used to demolish these homes. So hopefully it'll be sooner than later. The date isn't set yet, but for the first time in years. You know, you're answering everything except my question, what do I do? There may just be some resolution coming for this mess of a situation. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith. So good to hear that. We are told the city council will soon vote to put more money into yard cleanups. As for the homeowner we talked with, she tells us the city has already showed up to board up windows and the city is already preparing to clean up what the homeowner called Jurassic Park. All right.